Hi, I'm Ty Davis. Today I'm going to introduce you to how GitLab Value Stream Management provides analytics and insights across the entire software development lifecycle. You know, GitLab is not just a collector of data, it's a set of tools that's working across the uh, entire software lifecycle uh, as a single application. Um, GitLab does everything from uh, project planning, um, where we have the uh, epics and roadmap views, um, to source code management, CI, CD, monitoring and security. Uh, GitLab uses a single data store so you can get information uh, about the whole software development lifecycle instead of parts of it. With uh, multiple applications, you not only have multiple databases, but uh, also different definitions and processes. Uh, multiple data stores lead to redundant and inconsistent data, so uh, you don't have to duplicate data nor do um, an incredible amount of manual entry. Um, there is a single source of truth uh, without having um, to build a data warehouse uh, by using GitLab. Executive Insights, starting with value stream analytics, uh, built into GitLab, this provides the ability to measure the time spent to go from an idea to production for each of your projects and overall as an organization or uh, within a specific group. And what we're actually looking at here is our own gitlab.org, uh, so where we are developing our own software and we see the, the value stream analytics that are directly correlated with uh, our own engineering teams. Value streams analytics, this is useful in order to, to quickly determine the velocity of given teams, products, or projects. Uh, it's gonna help us it's going to help us point uh, to bottlenecks if we see any, um, dive into a, a, at the very granular level the issues or merge requests that are around the or that's causing that bottleneck in the value stream. And we are able to take this this live dashboard and look at seven stages that are defined that are actually default um, out of the box with GitLab. So we have issue plan code test review and staging and then that total that is taking all those and giving us a summary of, of that amount of time that's spent. So uh, tracking is built into GitLab. So this is going to collect and show data across the uh, software development lifecycle. As I mentioned, these stages come out of the box as the default stages. Uh, they're free and don't require customization, customization to get that immediate value. But in addition, uh, to these default stages. We offer the ability to have you know, extensive customization with stages, which is just a, actually a recent released uh, capability. So they, uh, a customer or even our own organization can uh, customize these stages that are you know, best suited for how we are approaching our value streams. So these two right here, which they probably should be rearranged to go above total, but I have database review and development customized. Thanks for checking out this video on an introduction to GitLab's value stream management. Let's continue our conversation around developer insights as part of that value stream management.